Yes, unfortunately, that is correct. Um, it's it's a well-known issue. Uh, although CATSOC A1 gives a high level of confidence about the data contained within the chart and the quality of the chart, uh, nonetheless, no navigational chart, paper or digital, is perfect, 100% perfect. That's just not the case. And in, in our book, in the latest version of the book, you'll see we've identified a dozen or so areas where such uh, grounding reports have been made in relation to uncharted uh, objects. And in particular, there's a reference to a vessel that recently ran aground on an uncharted reef that had been categorized as A1 by the, by the local hydrographic office. And so this is why we've added more guidance to chapter six, the passage planning chapter on how to navigate safely in in areas of low reliability um, and this is normal navigational practice uh, it helps the navigator identify those areas and helps him or her think through how they have prepared their passage plan uh, in relation to the charts that they're using and the quality of the data that those charts present It's, it's, those are worrying numbers, aren't they? It's all about uh, education and uh, mariners and navigators really understanding the meaning of these CATSOC categorizations. Uh, an arbitrary one meter is not good enough uh, in CD or U categories, uh, and navigators should take account specifically to ensure that they achieve the correct under keel clearance policy. There's also an onus on shipping companies who should review their SMS systems and consider uh, the guidance that we've provided in this publication uh, to help uh, ensure navigational safety and to assist navigators as they plan their passages. Well, in simple terms, they resolve uh, consistent inconsistencies uh, between paper and electronic charts. Uh, as an example, in a recent grounding, uh, the ENC did not show the rock, but the original paper chart did. So these electronic preliminary notices to mariners uh, sort out, bowl out uh, those discrepancies and ensure that the electronic chart is up to date. And the guidance again in the book will help the navigator understand uh, these processes and publications.